What is good guys back most smoke on snack draft this time my man Eric aka Swapper versus X-Ray looking at the teams Mega Low Pony then it could be um, a bulky Rocky Helmet Tornadoes a leftovers Budo to help with the Greninja and the Alakazam matchup then Greninja could be either Scarf or it could be Zemo of Greninja if Lopani has fake out plus quick attack, then he can afford to run a non-scarf Gran, but otherwise he has to be scarf Gran. Rocks on either Gliscor or Tren, not sure about that yet. Turn 1 X-Ray switches out, which makes me think he's probably um offensive guard charm and not Rocky Helmet. Now it's really obvious that Eric is gonna switch out. I would personally go into either the Gliscor or the Tornadoes here. I mean it's unlikely that the Celestia has Earthquake because X-Ray has a Bulu in the back which weakens Earthquake, but I still wouldn't go on a Heatran there. X-Ray doubles into Landris trying to catch the Heatran. Now Eric can either go for a knockoff or U-turn here. I would probably go for U-turn because like you can live any one hit here from the Landris, and if the Landris is scarf, which it looks to be then you get a slow U-turn here if you go for U-turn, which is really good for momentum. Uh, X-Ray doesn't want to go Celesteela here and potentially get knocked off. He really doesn't have a great switch in for this. A potential play is Garchomp if he's Zemo of Garchomp and if he predicts a knockoff, which could take knockoff uh, really well, obviously. But yeah, Scarf Lanners is really obvious. Then um, the Bulu is also going to be Spadef Bulky on X-Ray. Pretty sure it's going to be like the same Bulu set on both sides, the Bulky SD set. Um, it could also be bulk up on Eric's side because Eric's team is a little... Well, it depends on the Gliscor. The Gliscor can help with the Zygarde matchup. But the Bulu might also be um, bulk up to help with the Zygarde matchup if the Gliscor doesn't have Ice Fang. So he does U-turn as he goes into Alakazam. So good play there. Now we could either see a switch into Greninja or into Lopunny. Uh, if he goes Greninja, he can um, either bluff the Scarf, if, or he can also be Scarf potentially, or he can also threaten this with Water Shuriken, depending on if that kills. I don't know the calc on that. Now, let's see if he breaks the switch into either Celestia or Landris to go for Return or High Jump Kick. No, he just goes and plays it safe. Now, if I'm extra here, I would either go for Stone Edge or pull a double. I would probably pull a double that covers the Gliss score and the Torn, but he just just go for U-turn again. I'm not the biggest fan of that play. Now, he goes into Chomp. Uh, he's probably just going to throw the Rock up, and we could see a U-turn here from Eric. Um, there's not really a point um, trying to go for Hurricane because it can miss and you just don't want, want to do that. Now, he can potentially go Bulu, but Bulu might not beat this Garchomp if this Garchomp has coverage for it, like Poison Jab. Uh, it's not super common, but it could be an option here. Like, if that's like Ash Greninja on X-Ray's side, which I don't think it is, I think it's probably Protein. But if it's Ash, this could potentially have Poison Jab to Lou in opposing Bulus. So, um, Eric should switch out here, maybe into the... Um, Gliss score, which would scout for Poison Jab, and it also covers X-Ray switching out into Celesteela, which is also a potential play. Uh, if he doesn't have any coverage to hit this Bulu with, he's most likely get, just gonna go into Celesteela here. And the Gliss score just covers everything, it covers the Celesteela, and it covers the Garchomp going for Poison Jab. So yeah, Eric should not stay in here, because this um, Bulu can definitely check the Alakazam, potentially check the Greninja if it doesn't have Gunk Shot. So no reason to stay in here for Eric. And yeah, that could definitely be um, a bulky protect trend. He has used it in the past with like Magma Storm, Earth Power, Toxic or Taunt, which means rocks could be on the Gliscor. And Z-Move is either on the uh, Greninja or he doesn't have a Z-Move either. Well, I guess Trend could be Z-Move, but I think it's definitely bulky trend with lefties. You already saw that it's Helmet Torn. So does he double? Yeah, it goes in the Gliscor, scouts for Poison Jab and covers the Celesteela. Good play there on Eric's side. And now we will see if it's a SD Gliscor, if it's a Rocks Gliscor. X-Ray wants to stay in. Yeah, he goes hard Greninja, which scouts for knockoff. That makes me think he's potentially Zemo of Greninja, because um, in case he predicted knockoff, their hard Gren would have always worked out. Now, um, Eric doesn't have a good switch in here at all. I mean, he could potentially go Heatran predicting an Ice Beam, but if it's Ash Gren and he goes Heatran here, he's screwed. So this is like a tough turn. Like, I guess if he wants to guess and predict Ice Beam, he can go Tren. If he wants to predict Pump, Battle Bond, he can go into his uh, Bulu. Or if he wants to predict Ice Beam, I guess he can also go into the Low Pony. Or if he wants to predict the Spike, but it's like really kind of tough here. So that kind of depends on the Greninja set and he really doesn't have a safe switch into this. So let's see what he wants to do. Does he go for Spikes? He does go for Spikes, um, which would have just covered everything. So he's Protein Greninja. And yeah, Eric can scare this out here and go for high jump kick. And X-Ray can go into Bulu here, I guess. Especially if he has some defense investment, he can easily take two returns. Um, I would probably high jump kick here. 
just in case X-Ray wants to go into Seller's Dealer, you want to hit that Seller's Dealer as hard as possible. Uh, another potential play for X-Ray here is going into the Lander, is predicting the High Jump Kick, but let's see what um, Eric goes for. Goes for High Jump Kick and gets a crit, which is annoying for X-Ray. Landris wasn't doing too much, but it would have still been around for a little bit and it could have still acted as a fodder. So that was a bit annoying. Now he goes into Alakazam and you can scare this out, obviously. Alakazam naturally outspeeds Lopani. Um, it has to be timid to outspeed it though, so Eric goes into Bulu. Um, we could either see a Psychic or a Recover here from X-Ray. Those are the two potential plays. And he, he does go for Recover. Now we're gonna see most likely Leftovers plus Gerestra and heal the Bulu back. Exactly. Now Celestina has the play here. Does he predict that and double out? into like Heatran. Doubles into Torn, which is okay. Not 100% sure what he predicted there, but now he can potentially knock off. Um, X-Ray is going to protect here, just to get that extra leftovers recovery. And then the next turn, um, I guess I would just U-turn if I'm Eric. Yeah, I would U-turn again, because X-Ray might not want to stay in here and lose leftovers on the Celesteela. Um, U-turn is free here, because if Celesteela stays in, you can go into your Gliscor, or you can go into your Heatran, and if X-Ray switches out, you get momentum. So U-turn seems super free. As, um, what's X-Ray's play here? Um, it's either stay in and go for Leech Seed, or it's um, stay in and go for Heavy Slam, predicting the knockoff. Or if you don't want to stay in, risk getting knocked off, I guess you can go into, um, yeah, I was gonna say either Garchomp or Greninja, predicting a knockoff on the potential Z move. But yeah, Garchomp is more likely because Garchomp covers knockoff and Garchomp also covers U turn. Greninja would take a lot from U turn, Garchomp can take it better. Now, this Greninja probably has Ice Beam the way he brings this out. Um, X-Ray might, I might go hard into um, Alakazam, which has good natural spadef, or I was gonna say he might have gone into Celesteela, but he goes hard Bulu, gets the play correct as a Hydro Vortex, I mean, that was also an option. Um, Ice Beam was the first thing that came to mind, but that also makes sense. Now, we can see a Scout here, um, predicting Gunk Shots, it goes into Celesteela. It's HP Fire, though, so that's really good for Eric. Now, we could see a, a Spike here from Eric, predicting X-Ray to go for Protect. So, if I'm X-Ray here, I would just go for Leech Seed, um, which... Because I think you can still live any one hit from this range. And you definitely want to go for Leech Sheet and get some health back on your Celestia. Like, goes into Greninja instead, which covers um, everything. I guess it covers HP Fire and it covers the Spikes. But yeah, Spikes was definitely the correct play, which covers X-Ray Pivoting and it covers X-Ray going for Protect. And it also covered the Leech Sheet, kind of. Now, um, I don't think I, I don't think Swappa wants to stay in here, but he also doesn't have a great switch in, so... He might just... Um, what did this Bulu, this Greninja reveal yet from X-Ray's side? I think it only revealed spikes. But like, I mean, it's not Ash Ninja. So even if Eric loses a speed tie and loses his Greninja here, it's not the end of the world. But this Greninja is also good to keep offensively. So he might just go Bulu here. Um, hoping that this doesn't have coverage for the Bulu. And like worst case, he has like worst case he has to sack something here, either Greninja or Bulu, and then come in with the low punny afterwards to scare this out with a high jump kick. Okay, goes in Heatran instead, um, which can take anything besides Hydro Pump, as it is Hydro Pump, but it's um, Protein and not Battle Bond, so that's fine for him. Yeah, so the reason why he went um, Tren over, and he obviously can High Jump Kick here, knowing that Lopani outspeeds the Greninja and can kill it. And um, Bulu might be able to take High Jump Kick um, into return because of the Grassy Terrain and Leftovers, and because it resists High Jump Kick. But I don't think X-Ray wants to risk going hard Bulu exactly, he does just sack it. Now he goes Alakazam and scared get his out of low punny. We still don't know if the Alakazam is timid or modest though. Uh, so Eric's obviously gonna switch, he goes into Bulu, which... Now from the damage we can probably see if it's modest or timid. Psychic comes out, that's 53, which makes me think this is definitely modest Alakazam. So he brought this out on low punny, bluffing that he's timid but he's modest. Which means Eric's low punny is in a really good position. Uh, he just needs the Celesteela a bit lower. Oh, it, might, it might already be in range of High Jump Kick after the Rocks. That's why also why he didn't defog earlier, even though there's um, hazards on Eric's side. The Rocks help him chip down Celesteela and Bulu for the low punny, which can definitely uh, win late game. He might just go back low punny here, because... Um, I don't know if Return kills, but Fake Out into Return definitely kills the Zam. So, I don't know the Kalks here. He might just have to go for a return, uh, for fake out, I mean, if return doesn't kill. We could see a switch here, maybe into the Celesteela if he wants to predict a protect, uh, a fake out. God, I, I'm mixing up all the words. Another potential play is sacking off the guard chomp here. Um, I don't think he wants to stay in with the Alakazam. And yeah, also earlier I was going to say he went into Heatran on the Greninja instead of Bulu because he wanted the Bulu around for the Alakazam. But then, um, with the hazards up and with Alakazam being modest, the Bulu couldn't check the Alakazam anyway, so I don't think it made a huge difference if he went Bulu or if he 
went trin earlier on the Greninja's Hydro Pump, so he does decide to sack the Garchomp, which is gonna get Twit killed. Um, the Rough Skin is not too bad for Eric here because he has the Grassy Terrain helping him get some recovery back. And now we could see Celesteela or Bulu come out. Um, probably Bulu, if I would have to guess. Because um, if the Celesteela is in range of High Jump Kick after Rocks, this could be really bad for X Ray right here. So he does go Celesteela. Um, Hard High Jump Kick is a potential play because it's unlikely that he's just gonna protect. Because um, he knows that Eric knows that um, High Jump Kick into Protect would be bad for Eric. So I think he's not gonna go for Protect. But yeah, so the play here, obviously if X-Ray predicts a um, return, he could go for a Leech Sheet, predicting him to not go for a High Jump Kick, but that's really, really risky. Um, I mean, it depends on the Kalk. If you live a High Jump Kick after you go for Protect here, then I think the play is always to go for Protect here. But if High Jump Kick um, is still a roll or still kills after Protect, then this is like really rough for him. Well, actually, it does, that just that just makes it a 50-50. If he lives high jump kick after protect, that yeah, it just makes it a mind game. Because obviously, if this lives high jump kick after protect, that means Eric doesn't want him to go for protect, and yeah, as he wins it and just hard high jump kicks, yeah, I figured he wouldn't want to go for it. But the thing is, it's just hard for me to tell how that scenario like plays out because I don't have the calculator open, which is what I'm gonna do right now. So, um, Bulu can probably take a hit, um, especially if it has Protect. He might have to go for Protect here, yeah, I don't know the Kalk. He doesn't go for Protect and he just dies. Um, obviously, returning there was a fine play if he knows that it kills. But I'm really surprised that it didn't have Protect. So now Eric just wins with a slow pony because the Alakazam did so much to the Bulu. I'm like really sure that it's Modest Alakazam. And so Eric is going to be able to pull out the victory right here. Um, I guess he can switch out, but he can also just return if it kills from here after the hazards. He switches out, yeah, I mean, I guess he's playing it safe. Torn's gonna get 2 hit KO'd right here. And yeah, high jump kick um, does 44 to 52 to Celesteela. So there was a huge mind game going on right there. If he went for protect, then he could have most likely loved the next high jump kick. So I completely understand that mind game now. Earlier, I, exp I explained it wrong. I'm pretty sure I made that sound really weird earlier. But now that I have the Kalk in front of my face, High Jump Kick 44 to 52, it's like really obvious to me why. Um, that was a huge mind game, yeah. So um, Fake Out into Quick Attack. Okay, so he doesn't even go for Return. He's just playing it safe. Um, because if he for some reason miscalked, this like guarantees him the victory. Um, obviously, if he does have Fake Out and Quick Attack, then this was um, yeah just the safest way to play the end game. Even though it's like really obvious the... The Alakazam was modest from the damage. But I thank you guys for watching. Eric picks up the victory. And I mean, I'm overall happy with my narration besides that Celesteela versus Lopani scenario. I feel like I explained that wrong. Um, I might just put the Kalk in the description or in the comments if you guys want to check it out. Another Kalk I wanted to run is Lopani versus Tapu Bulu. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. Let me pause it though. Yeah, return does 44.6 minimum to 52.7 max. So returning the Bulu was definitely the play to make. Um, cause I, I don't remember if you already knew the Bulu spread, if you already knew the Bulu spread from attacking it earlier, then it was definitely the play. But if the Bulu had a bit more defense investment than standard Bulu, then it could have, um, potentially been bad for Eric, but I assume he knew that it was just Spadef Bulu, um, he potentially attacked it already, I'm not sure, or he just assumed it was Spadef. Thank you guys for watching, I will put the two cults that I just talked about in the comments, and peace out friends, have a fantastic day, and smash the like button.